Hey guys! Today is just me because Julia had some crazy mafia style punch up with her mum which meant she ended up in A&E in a body bag. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but she did have a fight with her mum and she can't come. So it is just me today. But that's cool. Christmas is coming up. So the Christmas spirit is in the air. I'm feeling it and I am so excited. So I thought I would do a little special video about 10 things that you should never do on Christmas Day. Christmas can sometimes be a hot mess when people don't do the right things or say stupid things or forget to do certain things. So I'm telling you guys exactly what not to do so that you can have the perfect Christmas this year. So the first thing you never ever ever want to do is be cheap. If for whatever reason you feel that you can't afford to get presents this year that is fine but you need to make that known well in advance, okay? So I'm talking about friggin' July. This will let me know that since I'm not getting a Christmas present from you, you won't be getting one from me. That's kind of how it works. Don't bother coming to my doorstep with your empty arms swinging, saying something like, oh, I am so sorry, I'm skint. But what's even worse is when you try and still get them a present despite the fact that you're broke. Don't give me a present and smile at me like say I don't know that you got it from Saturn's 99 Peace Store. The rudeness is real. I would rather you come with your arms swinging than you actually come with some 99p friggin candle. Why the hell would I want a freaking candle for Christmas? The second thing that you should never do is be ungrateful for your presence, whatever your present is. So like I just said in the last one, if somebody does, for whatever reason, get you a present from Sam's 99p store, you just sit there and you smile and you say thank you very much, that's what I've always wanted. Christmas is all about being happy, being gracious. It doesn't matter what the hell they get you, you just smile and wave. Smile and wave. The third thing that you should never do is buy your friends presents. Well, you're supposed to buy your friends presents. How could you not buy your friends presents? Listen to me now. Once you fall into the trap of buying your friends presents, what are they gonna be asking you next year? What are you getting me for Christmas this year? They start expecting some kind of present every year and they think for whatever reason that each year their present's gonna get better and better. I don't know who told them that. I don't know who told them that. And whose fault is it? Yours. So in order to avoid this completely, don't buy them anything. When they say to you, what are you getting me for Christmas this year? You say, what are you getting me? Isn't Christmas all about giving? The fourth thing, never upset your mom on Christmas. If your mom is anything like my mom, she will be working so, so hard from the freaking crack of dawn. So she will be in that kitchen working so hard with the food getting it ready to be perfect for dinner so you do not want to be in there making any wisecracks or making her angry because you will lose okay <laughs> talking from experience you will lose just stay away from her smile and do whatever the hell she tells you whatever it might be you do it you don't even dare try and answer back please don't the fifth thing you should never do on Christmas is think that you have some kind of authority, especially if you're the youngest child, a girl, from five older brothers. I used to try and get up in the morning and wake everybody up and rally them up, yet all I would get is screamed at and punches. They didn't care that I was a girl, okay? They would seriously punch me. So never, ever, ever try and take control just sit back if they want to wake up at freaking 1 p.m that's what you gotta do let them do it and just get on with the rest of the day enjoy christmas just be happy okay christmas is fun it's a great time the sick thing is never ever snack too much because as we all know the best thing about christmas is the christmas dinner I mean, I don't know about you guys. You guys might be sitting there thinking, yeah, it's the Christmas presents. Yeah, I love opening them just at 9 a.m. on the dot. I don't even care that much about it. I mean, yes, Christmas presents are great, but me, I'm looking forward to that Christmas dinner. <laughs> it is so bad, okay? It is so 
bum i can't wait for this one moment in my life okay because this just makes the whole year worthwhile that first bite of that freaking christmas dinner and that stuffing and that chicken and i'm just mm, ah! christmas dinner it just makes me so happy inside so happy so if you go around snacking you are gonna be too full for when dinner's ready and then you do not want to be that one who's like damn i really want to eat this but I can't. I just can't. Honestly, that happened to me one time. Never let it happen again. Everyone was tucking in, getting into that Christmas dinner, and I was sitting there like, No. Slow down. Wait for me. Ain't nobody got time for that. The seventh thing is never go out on Christmas Day. I will never understand why people go out on Christmas Day. I just don't get it. But one of my brothers, like, sometimes he'll go out somewhere on Christmas Day. And I'm thinking, wait, what? Like, where are you going? Where, where could you possibly be going? Like, isn't every freaking store closed on Christmas Day? Except those, like, Indian corner shops. They, like, never close. Never. What the hell's up with that? The eighth thing that you should never do is bring up personal issues on Christmas. Christmas is supposed to be about smiles and happiness and fun, and jumping around and screaming and magic. So where are you going talking about your issues on Christmas, especially around the dinner table, okay? You cannot be sitting there saying something like, guys, I've, I've got an announcement. Um, I've got diabetes. No, okay? No, 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 a billion times no. I am really, really sorry to hear about your misfortune, but at this current predicament, I do not care. You could have some crazy ass disease for all I care. Christmas is the exception to all diseases. You don't have diseases or anything on Christmas, okay? Christmas just eradicates everything. Any problem you've ever had will be fine because Christmas exists. I truly believe that. The ninth thing you should not be doing on Christmas Day is staying on social network sites. Last year, everyone was like updating their freaking Facebook status every minute, every hour. Twitter was just blowing up and Instagram was on freaking fire. Christmas is supposed to be about spending time with your family, playing board games, playing snakes and ladders, watching home videos and eating mince pies. So tell me where in between all of that you found time to pick up your phone or pick up your laptop. That being said, okay, I am 100% a hypocrite, okay? I probably will be on these social network sites on Christmas Day. Don't judge me, but this isn't about me. It's about you. The final thing that you should never do on Christmas Day is break up with someone. Seriously, like who the hell are you captain hook have a freaking heart i don't know how people do it i just don't know like i said christmas is about magic okay santa freaking rode around the whole freaking world with his reindeer delivering presents in one night okay now if that's not magic i don't know what the hell is so how can you come with your non-believing self and break up with someone and break the freaking magic of christmas how could you all i'm saying is no guy is gonna break up with me on Christmas. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't dare. Cause I'd kill him. Think I wouldn't do it? Hmm? Dump me on Christmas day. Dump me on Christmas day. I dare you. So that is it, okay? That is everything. Those are the 10 things that you should never, ever, 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 ever do on Christmas day. Seriously, if you're doing that, your Christmas is gonna be ruined. But if you follow these steps, you will have the most perfect Christmas ever. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and share. And that would make me so, so happy. I love you guys so much. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Kudos.